What's going on, YouTubes? Welcome back to Scrap Mechanic. Today we're back with some more awesome creations, and today there's an interesting build in here. So we guys, you guys know the Mini Flyer by Brent Batch, which is probably my favorite creation that I've ever found, simply because it's so simple to use and it's amazing. But today I found this thing, which is called the World Master Flying Car by Point Point Echo, and I hope. That this isn't a ripoff or something, but look, it's not, I don't think, because look, slow speed forward, slow descent, two and three rise, four radio, like, there's there's more options. Is this an upgraded version with more options? Alright, so one is that forward, two raises, oh, there we go, two is slow, okay, bip bip, we're gonna go. It's very similar so far. I mean, it's the exact it it looks like it's the exact same thing. Yet a lot faster. This thing I mean, it seems like it's the exact Oh. Holy crap. I don't know, guys. I don't think it's as good. Because look, you can't control it as easily. You can't... You can't dictate, like... Elevation and stuff as easily. So, two... Three... And then going. It's too back heavy. That's the thing. That's what's that's what's messing me up. It's too back heavy. The thing is too back heavy. It's not like it's I mean it's not that much different from the mini flyer, but that thing is a little different because it's too back heavy. The, the good thing about this is that this is like very compact and very easy to uh, control and it always th propels you upwards like the upward propulsion raci ratio to the motion going forward is very even whereas the other one has more propulsion forward and not as much upward so I'm still I'm still sold on the mini flyer I'm not replacing it goodbye even though it's okay so I have no idea what the crap this is Monster truck. Okay, so this is kind of different. Today's video is a little different with different creations that are kind of cool. It's not to say the last one wasn't cool, but I think it's too close to this, and it's not as good. If you're gonna make something that's like something else, better be better. Um, so this is siege mode. Monster truck with huge off-road suspension and custom monster tires, powered by four gas engines and six thrusters. Okay, let's find out how good it is off-roading here. So this thing has a bunch of ducks on it. I was like, what are those things? They're ducks. Look at how big this thing is. Holy crap. Um, um, it's not moving? There we go. What the heck was that? That was weird. Holy smokes. All right, we're about to find. We're about to put you to the test right here, man. Nice roll cage working out, working as intended. Yo, that was weird. When I first got into it, it didn't have any buttons on it at all. Now it's got two buttons. Ooh. Oh snap! So that that means we can go straight up stuff. Oops. Well, I messed that up. What would that be used for? Two. Pushing you backward. What would that be used for? I don't know. My phone is going off. People texting. I like that this isn't a mod. Like I'm, I'm tired of seeing all these monster trucks with mods. Can I just get a monster truck without a mod modded wheels? Kind of defeats the purpose of this game. 
to mod in stuff. Oh my gosh. Those ducks are working, man. Look at this thing. That's what I'm talking about. Oh, baby. oh yeah. The only problem is the wheels. They keep, you kind of saw how it like just broke right there. Um, that's the only problem I can see is that they, look it did it again. Oh, because it's the passenger seat. Oh, I'm an idiot. Yeah. The only problem are the wheels because of the in independent suspension. So if you land too hard, it, it'll break like that sometimes. And then also, it's very, very touchy with turning. It won't go straight. I can't get it to go. I can't get it to go straight. There we go. Yeah, see how, see what I'm saying? It's really, really, really sensitive. I like it. It's cool. I'm glad to see a monster truck that's not modded. Because, uh, there's too many freaking modded stuff now. Don't like seeing it. Alright, so here's the cool stuff today. Uh, kind of compact stuff. So we said to that first thing. This is made by Diesel Designs. You know he's a YouTuber. Check out his stuff. Um, obviously, check it out. This is based off the zip car in Fallout 4. Um, so we're going to check this thing out. And then we got a couple more and then a UFO. Failed to build shape. You must have the Grego mod installed. Diesel! Gosh. Oh, forget that thing. Um, so this little doohiggy, 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 do 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 do, is built by Tilt56. This is a vehicle that hovers, good turning, and very fast, good for races. You may change the colors if you like. He's given us permission. This is a weird looking thing. What the heck? It looks like a little pig. <laughs> Some little animal. Dude, this is so different from anything I've seen, like in terms of the shape and setup. Oh, so he's got all the propulsion in the front and the, w the back is weighted down. Interesting. Whoa, this thing's really fast. Eh. <laughs> I guess it's not my fault. I guess I shouldn't say diesel. Um, it's my fault for not looking to see if it's a mod or not. I mean, look at the turning on this thing. This is using suspension glitch. So sensitive. Thing is incredibly fast incredibly fast I'm, I'm wonder if you know I want to oh flying little dude I got an idea I've got an idea guys <laughs> slow down there slow down there uh, point paint tool here we go Wait, it's probably more of this color isn't it can I not Select the whole section. Pink. Oh, these are like individual things. <coughs> oh, excuse me. <coughs> I've got a new obsession with like eating, uh, eating sunflower seeds when I'm like in between recording. Just as something to munch on to kind of occupy my, my taste buds for a bit before I have like lunch or something. And so I, uh, <laughs> I, uh, sometimes that dust just kind of like hangs around. You know what I'm talking about. If you've ever eaten sunflower seeds, there's like this weird dusty stuff. That's kind of with them and, uh, kind of gets to you sometimes. Little piggy, go, little piggy. Oh, yeah. Painted it pink. Cause that, that's about my extent of my create creation anymore, guys. Yeah. Hold on. Get out of here, duck. Get out of here, duck. We don't need you, duck. What would be good? Uh, we'll just go with. We'll go with the. Go with this. Go with that. Yeah. There we go. There we go. Little pig! Little piggy! Oink, oink, oink. <laughs> Flying pig! Oh, crap! Whoops. 
The pig was sure lived. That thing's pretty nice, but here's the thing. I'm, we've got a, uh, we've got this thing, the hover bike, which we checked out a while ago. And this thing is insane because it's incredibly fast. What the heck is their biplane doing over here? But it, it also corrects itself. There's a biplane just over here. It must have taken off and then it never came, it just finally came back down. Big old black biplane. Uh, okay, so we checked that out. Now let's check out this thing. This is by by Nyak. Suspension unused. Um, no mods. Okay, so one, two, three, four, five, and then WSD. Okay, I like that. I like that. All right. So this is a UFO. Let's find out how it works. So one is lift off. Oh, look at this thing. Let's let it go up higher. There we go. Sure just No, oh, there we go. Two two raises it. Alright, so ch this is cool because this thing it it literally it goes like side to side. And then forward and backwards. It doesn't really like spin. Well, I guess it does spin. What? What a. What triggers those in the middle there? Oh, that's that. Okay. So it kind of spins. Everything's a like gyroscope based. Look, it's crazy. Ah! How do I correct it? Oh no! Oh, there we go. No! Turn it around! Ha! 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 Ah, crap! I ruined it! I just like the fact that when it's up in the air like that, it goes side to side. We hit one and then we hit two. We hold two. And then. Yeah, it goes uh, oops, side to side very easily. Like the directional control of it is really cool. Yeah, I like this thing. Guys, thank you so much for watching. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this episode. If you did, click that thumbs up button below. Feel free to subscribe if you're new to the channel, and I'll see you guys in the next one. It takes a while for it to kind of get settled, though, when everything moves like that. Interesting. Thanks for watching, guys. See ya.